an addict, do I gotta have it? I ain't even playing, got a really bad habit. If it moves, gotta grab it. Fuse like a magnet, lose won't have it till I'm doomed in a casket. I ain't playing, got a weird mind. If you work eight hours, I'ma work nine. If the shit tastes sour. This first clip is when Nick Kirby, Erica Patterson, and Corey Runkle were walking down the street and Nick had already called the police. Officer Phillips, I think his name is, pulled over and was talking to them. So let's watch this first. Thanks for clicking on this video. These are just certain things that I thought, I don't know, I uh, have been thinking about these certain parts of the trial lately, so let's watch. 
This next clip is of a report that was on the news about the five that had died. This was before Jackson Sparks passed away from his injuries. So let's watch this. A tradition here for nearly 60 years turning to screams and chaos. <laughs> That speeding red SUV ramming through a barricaded street and plowing through a sea of people, injuring more than 40, many of them children. Officials confirming five people have died as they work to notify loved ones. We have multiple casualties. We need multiple 1052s. The terrifying scene unfolding Sunday afternoon just west of Milwaukee in Waukesha, Wisconsin. According to witnesses, the SUV careening down the street at a high rate of speed. One video showing the car nearly hitting a toddler. The vehicle slamming through barriers and striking parade marchers and spectators. Terrified onlookers scattering in all directions. And I saw people on the ground. There's blood. It was really bad. Parents separated from children, desperately trying to find them. Hurry down, hurry people down. One officer opening fire in an effort to stop the vehicle. Four senior law enforcement officials briefed on the matter tell NBC News that authorities in Wisconsin are questioning a person of interest and that he may have a significant criminal history. Those sources also say they believe the driver may have been fleeing an earlier knife fight. Officials issuing a shelter in place order as they continue to canvass the streets. Requesting that everyone uh, continue to stay away from the scene. Now, this beloved holiday tradition on Main Street, marked by ribbons of police tape. Today, our community faced horror and tragedy in what should have been a community celebration. So sources who have been briefed on this investigation tell NBC News at the early onset right now, it does not appear that terrorism is part of this investigation or was the motive here. When you enter this area driving from Milwaukee, there's a large digital billboard. It has a message which is probably shared not only by this community, but the entire country this morning. It reads, our hearts are with Waukesha. Savannah and Hoda. Are they ever wow, that's so sad. It brings me back to the night that I found out. Oh my goodness gracious, you guys. He is such a bitch. I can't even fucking believe there's someone that evil out there that's like that. Okay, this is ring footage from Daniel Ryder of Bitch Boy Brooks. You know, knocking at his door and getting arrested. So, let's watch this part. Hey, can I, I call some, I call the Uber, and I'm supposed to be waiting for it over here, but I don't know when it's coming. Can you call it for me, please? I'm homeless. I'm Daniel Ryder was able to put this out there. This was from uh, the news or something. Uh, yeah. And of course, Bitch Boy Brooks, I'm homeless. Can you help? Knowing that motherfucker, well, he, he, I guess he was homeless now because the SUV he was living in was destroyed by him hitting bodies. So I guess he was, uh, you know, homeless. But it's, it's so nice now that the state of Wisconsin is giving him three hots, a cot, a shower, and uniforms um, for the rest of his life. I mean, way to go, state of Wisconsin, for taking care of one of your very own. 
stupid jackass. Now this, now this footage is him getting arrested from, this is the body cam footage. So let's watch that. Ask him. Ask him if he knows. He was on the porch here. Yeah, I was using his phone. Bell with your location. I was using his phone. Uh, Any unit that is on the I was using his phone. I was using his phone. Just pulled into WMH road, loading her down. I called my friend. Hey, squad's available for a transport. Just give me a lift. That's all. I was just using his phone. Hey, this is Schwartz. I'm leaving WSC. Where do you need me? Can I just sit up? I was sitting there. Please go on the phone. Can I please just sit up? Do you have any weapons on you? What's your name, guy? 9209. I just told her my name. What is your name? Yes, sir. What's your first name? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. This matches the description of the guy that got called on who was going door to door over here. Yeah, I was trying to. Where are your shoes, man? I was trying to use somebody's phone. Where are your shoes? My flip flops is in his house. He was saying he, he just gave me now a jacket. He's identifying soft fat, lighter skin, black male, dreadlocks, red shirt, blue jeans, no shoes. Yeah, I did, I did go to that house. I went to that house right there, right down the street, right here. Where are you coming from, man? I was coming from that uh, parade down here. Okay. I know a friend down here. Do you get, I think that's a fabulous Stand idea. Up for me, bro. Uh, I can't, Mr. Okay, I'll tell you what. No, Roll over on your butt. Okay, now just... Roll over on your butt. Ah. Roll up on your knees. Roll over on your knees. Okay, okay. 500 block of Elizabeth. Stand up. No, 553, 553 Elizabeth. Ah, my... What are you doing? Freaking sweet. Ah. Back here. Did I do something? That is yet to be determined, sir. Of my squad, man. Okay. Is there anything on you that's going to stick me both in your No, no, yeah. no, not at all, sir. Okay. Not at all. I don't have any weapons. Glad to hear it. Nothing like that. How did you get up over here, man? I was coming to see a friend. Yeah? yeah. Where, where's your friend? I don't know now. <laughs> spin your hand, spin your back, back your hand ah. for me. Ah. <laughs> I had, yeah, you injured, I went, you injured at all, dude? Yeah. What hurts? When when they slammed me, my knee, I'm out, I already have an injury. Yeah, just yeah, for me. Okay, yes, yes, yes. Hey, yes. That's my ID. It certainly is. Yes. <laughs> I'm so cold. I bet you are. You know damn well they did not slam you. You stupid son of a bitch. She's standing right there. She knew that no one slammed your ass either. She was there, and she was at one point in one of the guns at you, you stupid son of a bitch. You think you'd lie about something that she couldn't witness to. You're such a dumbass, dude. 
And if I were you, I would have ate that fucking sandwich because that's better than any fucking jail food you're going to get. And you won't be able to get commissary because you owe so much damn money, you worthless bitch. This next clip is of the dancing grannies dancing right before they got hit. It's so sad to see them. It was, It's not sad to see them happy. What's sad is to know that a lot of them, this was the last time they were happy. This is the last time of anything. The last time they were going to take a breath. It's very sad and it angers me even more about bitch boy Brooks because he is a worthless son of a bitch. These people were just living their life having a grand old time. I'm not even, I'm a grandmother, but I can't even dance like they did through that whole parade route almost. They had the energy of a teenager. And he snuffed them out like it was no fucking big deal to him. What a bitch. So when you guys watch this, please send a silent prayer or a loud prayer. I don't care. Send a prayer up for the victims and, you know, the dancing grannies. I really hope you guys sent a prayer out to them. All of Waukesha, I'm thinking of you. My heart is with you. The Dancing Grannies, the um, Jackson's basketball, or sorry, not basketball, Jackson's baseball team, uh, Jane Coolidge's uh, co-workers, all of Jackson's friends and family, obviously, Aaron and Sherry Sparks, I'm praying for you guys. Lola Hospital, I'm praying for you. I know you missed your soulmate. Everything is just so terrible and sad. And for all the others that were physically injured, I'm praying that you heal quickly. And everyone else that I know has some sort of PTSD. There's no way you can watch watch something like that happen and be okay in the head. Uh, unless you're Daryl Brooks, but, you know, he don't fucking count. He's a bitch boy. I'm praying for you guys. This next clip is during the interrogation when... Detective Carpenter was trying to make Daryl watch the video and of the marching band, I think, getting hit and other stuff. And Daryl was like, well, I want to know why you want me to watch it. And uh, Detective Carpenter's like, I want to know why you don't want to watch it. He's just a, he's a worthless piece of shit. Good for fucking nothing. There is nothing he can have or has had to offer this world at all he only hinders everybody he does not help any fucking buddy and <laughs> we're incriminating stuff i'm already like i'm about to lose my life man i'm can i ask a quick question i'm watching i know why do you want me to watch it because i'll show you I just want you to watch it. Watch it. Why though? Watch it for me. Why though? Because I want you to see what's in the video. Did you watch it? No. Will you? I just want to know why you want me to watch it. Because I want you to see what's on the video. Why don't you want to watch it? I just want to know why you want me to watch it. I didn't say I just it. want you to I see what I told I you. Problem. You're not accepting the answer. I told you I want you to see what's in it. That's why I want you to watch it. You wanted information from us for sure. I want you to watch and see what's in it. Yeah, it's a good point. It's information sharing. Yes, I want yeah, you to watch like and see what's to, in it. It's like you, like badgering me, like a little. But Darrell, you asked me a question. Okay, and this is more than what we had before. 
So I am showing you more. I'm asking you to watch it. Will you watch it? I mean, I don't have a problem with you. Okay, Cardinal, that's I just fine. want to know what, what was the reasoning. Because I want you to see what's in it. I mean, I'm pretty much... It's not right. complex. It's just, I, you know what I'm I mean, saying? It's just that. I, I want you to see I what happens. I understand. I'm just saying I, I already know. I already have an idea from what you guys were saying earlier. But I want so you to see like, it. It's like watching my... Like, all I'm thinking about right now is... Here, we'll talk in a second. What a hell of a journey is being, but this right. is how my story ends. That's all I've been thinking about. Like, it's right. nothing that I want to... You look down? Why do you want me to see that card? Why? Because I think it's important. Why is it important? Is it to make, like, what is it? Well, why don't you want to look? I just, I'm just asking, I'm not, I'm not trying to raise my voice at you, or I'm not. I'm just asking you why you don't want to look. I'm just saying, why do you want me to look? So you I think it's important. So you see what happened. You said, you told you me what happened. happened. You already told me what happened, girl. Y'all told me what happened. I understand my life is over. I'm trying to come to grips with that. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I'm trying to come to grips with the fact that this is how my story ends. From trying to love somebody, I'll never see my kids again. My mom, my relationship is gone for me. And it's like, what is it? What is it to look at? And where my life is for me to look at my life in? That's you, Darrell. Is it? Is it looking at my life ending? These are the same. Form. I'm just telling you that, okay? I think it's important you see these. It's important for me to see my life in you. It is important for you to see them. For my life to you. Are we gonna, are we gonna, are we gonna keep going round and round about this or is there something you want to tell me? That is gonna help me at this point. Everybody can. Everybody knows what was going on from the day y'all knew last night while I was getting investigated, while I was. You know what I'm saying? There's a children right there. See those kids? See that little kid right there? You're just a fucking coward in its vilest form, you worthless piece of shit. How you could do that and then be okay? And all you worried about, my life is over. This is how it ends. Fuck you. You shit, we wish. The next is the last one for this video. And it's Officer Leha. <clears throat> answering questions from Attorney Opper about what Daryl said uh, as Officer Leha was bringing him to the Muskego Police Department or whatever from the hospital. So let's watch this. Do my answer? Yes, it was just me and Daryl Brooks in the, the squad car. Yes, Mr. Brooks said uh, when, once we were going to Spano, Wisconsin, um, and I quote, he said, uh, damn, it looks like they were dealing with something heavy. Okay. Did you reply to him in any way? No. Did he continue to speak? Yes, ma'am. What else did he say? He asked me if there was a basketball game going on or something tonight, and to which I replied, I'm not sure. Okay. Did you continue on uh, transporting him to the Muskego Police Department? Yes, ma'am. And uh, at some point, were you responsible for watching over him at the Muskego Police Department. Yes, ma'am. Objection relevancy. Overrule. Your answer may stand. Go ahead and um, just wait until I rule on the okay, objections, I'm sorry. please. That's okay. How long did you watch him for? Objection relevancy. Overrule. I believe we got to the jail around closer to 1 a.m. Um, I watched him up until about 7 a.m. Officer Leha is buff. You know he goes to the damn gym. And I bet you Daryl Brooks next to him is little old puny. Uh, I think he has like short man syndrome or something. Bitch boy Brooks, you're worthless. 
Anyway, this guy was smart not to answer him when he was making those certain comments, but he did say something about the baseball game comment from Bitch Boy Brooks. But that's about it. And, uh, yeah. So this is the end of the video. I hope that you guys like, subscribe if you haven't already, comment, turn on that notification bell, or you're going to miss my videos. Um... Until you check if you do check. I don't know if you wait on a notification or you just check every now and then But regardless turn on that notification and hey, we've got eight people as members Sometime very soon within the next couple of days. I'm gonna be going live just for members. It's gonna be at night It's only probably gonna be for 20 to 30 minutes. Not much. I also have some videos I want to upload just for members also. Um, there's already one there. I had it on members and I switched it to public so other people could see it. It's where that Sarah Boone bitch uh, was teasing and making fun of George Torres as he was in that suitcase. Uh, but I put that back on members. Because it's, I just don't want anybody to see it because it's, uh, it can tr definitely trigger some, some really sad or negative emotions. So, but take care, everybody. Have a great day. I may end up uploading again. Just check later. Um, there will be no notification for the next one if I upload again tonight because. I've used my notifications up. You only get a couple. I think you only get like two or three. So make sure to do that. Take care, everybody. Have a great rest of the day. Okay, you guys. This is Mr. Backler's part of his testimony when he was like, you, and then Bitch Boy Brooks is like, well, who is you? Do I look 5'9 and 160 pounds? No, you look like a fucking midget, you dumb bitch. But anyways, so let's watch this guy fucking <laughs> piss Daryl off big time. Mr. Brooks, do you have any questions for this witness? Yes, I do. And I object to being called that name for the record. Um, do you recall giving a statement to uh, an officer probst i don't know his name but i i've talked to an officer and you you did talk to an officer that that night i talked to an officer on the phone i did not talk to an officer that night i mean on the phone i did but not in person <clears throat> So it was uh, a conversation on the non-emergency uh, line. Would that be fair to say? It was on the non-emergency line. Line. I actually uh, confirmed it after I called to make sure I was on the non-emergency line. Do you recall the description that you gave at that time? I do. Well, my best best of my knowledge was that uh, you were either black, Latino, who's you, or mix. Who's you? Well, you have to let answer the question first before you interrupt him with another one. Go ahead with the description you provided that night. I said that the individual was either black, mixed, or Latino. So it would be fair to say you didn't know at the time? I was giving a general description. So it would be fair to say that you weren't sure? I was positive that I was positive it was you. Who was you? You. I'm looking at you. And how did you come to that conclusion, the, the you conclusion? I'm looking at you. How did you, come, how did you come to that conclusion? Did you... What conclusion? Because you, can you restate the question? You're saying, you're saying that you gave an, a description on the non-emergency phone line, correct? It was on a non-emergency line. So it would be fair to say at that time you had no name or knowledge of who uh, the person was in your backyard. Would that be fair to say? I had no idea who you were. 
And so how can you say who, the, how can you say you then if you had no idea? I'm looking at you, you are the guy. And how did you come to that conclusion? Uh, where you and I were standing in the same yard looking at each other. He's seeing you, bitch boy Brooks, when you were in his fucking yard. He's looking at you now. You are the same person that was in his fucking yard. How the fuck do you not understand that, you fucking Nimrod? So, is it possible you saw something on the news? No, I had no idea who you were. Interesting. Interesting, bitch boy Brooks? Yeah, because he knows what the fuck you look like. You were in his yard. Jesus. Do you recall giving a description of approximately 5 feet 9 and 160 pounds? I, it, it, yeah, it's something like that. Something like that, or would that be accurate? I didn't have a tape measure out. It was just a guesstimate. Would it be fair to say that since you keep identifying me as you, would it be fair to say that I'm not 5'9", nor 160 pounds? Do you have your shoes on or off right now? Would it be fair to say that I'm not 5'9", 160 pounds? If you take your shoes off and step out of them, they can have a better... Well, I'm not better have them do that, but if you're able to answer the question, uh, do you agree? I'd have to be standing next to him. That's what I made my judgment from. We were about two does feet it, from each other. Does it look like I'm five foot nine? I don't know. We were a lot closer. Does it look like I'm 160 pounds? Does it look like you're a jackass? Yes. Does it look like you're a Nimrod? Yes. Does it look like you're three foot nine? Yes. Does it look like you're 60 pounds? Yes. Bitch boy Brooks, this man handled you and you did not fucking like it at all. Did you think you were going to intimidate him? I don't fucking think so, biatch. Objections. Grounds. Irrelevant as to his appearance today, just like his hair isn't in dreadlocks today. <coughs> Objection. Question. Grounds for the sustain. Like Attorney Alper said, you didn't have dreadlocks today either. You didn't have dreadlocks on this day of trial. Just because people didn't see you shave your head doesn't mean it hasn't been shaved. And just because he gave a guesstimate of 5'9 and 160 pounds, it's just a guesstimate. This was just something to you, something for you to argue with. This is all this is. You're just full of shit, aren't you? Everybody, I hope you like this video. Please like, subscribe, turn on your notifications so you don't miss any uploads please comment i love reading your comments and interacting with you guys and remember memberships uh if you would like to be a member go ahead and do so in the next couple of days i will be doing a members only live uh, it's about me. It's about part of my story, my addiction and recovery story. I'm going to start that. So, and that's only for members. I'm not putting that on uh, for the public. It's just for members. I figure if people really want to support, they can, and want to hear the story, they can become a member. I mean, it's kind of private. I know I'm putting it out there, but, you know. Gotta give um, incentives for the members, so and they deserve it. I appreciate everybody, though, and maybe in time I will end up releasing that publicly, but I don't know yet. I don't think so, at least not for a while. So, like I said, please like, subscribe, comment, turn on your notifications, and have a great day, everyone. I'm changing who I am I'm making a new plan Rearranging my life and I won't look back ever again yeah.
you ain't see me activated. You better hope that you never see me agitated. I think about. 